Uh, yeah? What? Your mum wants to know what you'd like in your sandwich. Martin! Martin! Oh, very nice cup of tea, that's Sarah. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Stroud. I just did what you said, you know, warm the pot and everything. Mm. Um, I've just got a few blouses to add, is that all right? Well, I don't know. Uh, I no. could do some of these as well, if you'd like. Well, I was going to do them myself later. No, really, I, I don't mind. It keeps me busy. I'm a dab hand. You can inspect them. Huh. Well, all right, if you feel you must. <laughs> well, that is a first. <laughs> Down with something. Oh, I'm going out later. I'll get you some vitamins or something. Doesn't help though if you don't eat. Mm, she's right, you know. Look, I'm fine. All right. I mean, I just didn't sleep well again last night. That's what it is. First sign. Right, you lot. I've made you some sandwiches. They're through there. Ham and pickle, cheese and pickle. I hope that's all right, because I won't be able to pop back later. Martin. Yeah, that's fine, Mum. Right. Oh. Oh, Sarah. There's uh. There's one for you. Oh. After the plumbers are finished, I thought I might redecorate. Probably gonna have to after the mess they've been making. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what they said, eh? More trouble? I'm gonna get this sorted. I mean, how long are you gonna be here? What, exactly? I, I know I should probably get more stroppy with them, but they, they run rings around me. They've got answers for everything. What trouble with your builders? I wouldn't mm. stand any nonsense from them if I were you. Mm, maybe I should send you round. Oh, yeah. I'd soon sort them out, I can tell you. <laughs> well, how about me? How's my ironing? Oh. Not bad. No. Couldn't have done much better myself. Better than me, eh, Martin? Hi, oh. Jane. Starting late? Skiving off? Mickey's on the stall. Oh. You've got these. So, tell me. You don't have to be a mind reader to know that something's bothering you. You couldn't sleep last night, you didn't eat. You nearly bit Sarah's head off. She was annoying me. How? She just was, all right? I... She just winds me up. You know, some people do, some people don't. Well, I hope I don't. Oh, son, I'm sorry, right? But what can I say? I don't like the girl, you know? I don't like her running around her house. You never tell me you felt like this. So you'll ask her to leave then? I'm sorry, Martin, but she's a friend who needs a favour. Just a bit longer, eh? I mean, you could even try and make an effort with her. She's really quite nice when you get to know her. Even your mum thinks so. Look, I've got to go. I'll see you later, yeah? Sarah! Hello. What are you doing? Come say hello, it's nice of you. Do you want a cup of tea? Look, this is my home. Exactly, and what could be nice on a cup of tea? No, you've got to go, you've got to leave. This is getting ridiculous. I know you're just worried about Sonia and your mum being put out. You're so sweet. Oh, let's ask her. Hello, Mrs. Fowler. Hello. Oh, hi, Mum. I thought you'd be at work. Shouldn't you be? Yeah, well, I forgot half my float, so... Oh, well, it's all right. Just pop back to get some of Betty's dog treats. She's getting a bit restless. Oh, I'll take her for a walk. Give her a treat. Take her to the park. Uh, oh, well, she doesn't really like going out with people she doesn't know too well. Hello, Betty. See? I think we're getting on very well. Well, all right, then. Just round the square and then bring her back to me, eh? Because she gets tired very quickly. Hey, Mickey, look after me still for a minute, please. Martin, it's not that I don't like fruit and veg, mate. Oh, but... It'll only be ten minutes. Yes, I know, but if I spend any more time on your stool, I'm going to want to have shares. A dog would jump three feet in the air for a sock, five for a shoe. Actually, I think those socks are gyms, you know. We'd better not get any holes in them. Oh, more holes. <laughs> Excuse me, um, uh, I'm being stalked, like, like, uh, like harassment or something, I don't know, uh, look, you do anything about okay. that? Take it easy. Are they stalking you now? No, no, not right now, no. she ain't here now. Right, so who is stalking you and when did you last see her? You said her? Yeah, in the laundrette, right, um, with my mum. So, how is she stalking you? Can you be specific? Uh, this gentleman thinks he's being stalked by a woman. But she's in my ass. Well, she broke in. No, no, she's staying with us. Like, my wife asked her. Look, they're mates. Uh, she ain't normal. She came into my bedroom this morning. She was half naked. Some people wouldn't find that something to complain about. Oh, look, you don't understand. Right? She's trying to take over, right? She's even trying to do my mum's ironing. 
So let's get this straight. We're talking ironing with menaces and entering a room in a state of criminal undress. <sighs> All right, sir. If you make a formal complaint, we can do something about it. Just report to the desk. They'll take care of it. Formal complaint? Say what she does, how she does it, when, how you know it, if you know it, and where all this started. Okay? Really sorry. Where have you been? I've had some business, innit? Yeah, well, you've got one here you might not want to forget about. I've been running two stalls on my own all day. George has been out collecting more stuff. I know, I'm sorry, mate. Look, take that, all right? Listen. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't be buying my own flowers. But, crosses your mind. Lilies. I love them. Get out and stay out! I caught them two messing up with the machines. <laughs> See if there's any change in there. I tell you, I don't care what they do round here, but if they think they can mess with me, they've got another thing coming. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, thanks so much. Righty ho, dear. Bye. Oh, guess what? Shell. She wants me to go for a couple of weeks. She's sending me the ticket, all paid for and everything. When? Oh, in about two weeks' time, I think. Martin, come on, you can manage. Betty's no trouble. It's not going to be for long. Here, look, look what came today. Sarah brought it over, special delivery. See? It's all gone through, all completed. The house is going to be ours. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, Mum would have been so proud. Yeah, I know it takes a while for it to sink in. No, no. Well, it's great, isn't it, Mum? It's just what we wanted. Fantastic. Well, it will be when the place is ours. But that's the whole point. No, Mum. I mean the place to ourselves. Well, what do you mean? Derek? No, no, of course I don't. I mean Sarah. Well, what's she got to do with it? Well, she's there, isn't she? Well, maybe, but, I mean, she's, she's not a lot of trouble. What I'm saying is that I need some time with Sonia, you know? Just us, the family. You know, Sarah's always there. You know, the whole point of us buying that place was me and Sonia felt like we had somewhere that was ours. You know, you know how close we've come to moving out. We wanted our own space, and you were great, but it just feels like every time I turn around, there she is. Martin, you're overreacting. I mean, she's not going to be here for long. I mean, she's a sweet girl. You can see she feels a bit awkward about it, but at least she tries to help out. The thing is, I, I don't like the way she looks at me sometimes. Hmm. Well, not that I approve, but I, I thought she was seeing some married man. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't look the type. Well, that's exactly it. We don't know her, do we? I mean, she walks around the house in a towel. Well... Has she done anything, sort of, you know? No, no. It's probably nothing. It's just like a general feeling, really. Look, Mum, if I'm honest with you, I just don't like the girl. You know, when Derek's back, she won't even have her own room. I mean, I could walk in any time. I just don't know what's best to do, Mum. You know, I suppose you've got a point. Well, have a word with her and say maybe... You and Sonia need your own place, and and uh, and when was she thinking of moving out? Well, I mean that's fair. I mean I'm sure she'll understand. Martin, you're too soft at times. You are really. All right, then I'll speak to her. I'll ask her what her plans are, how long she intends to stay, and suggest that she has a look round for something else. All right? When? Well, I'm nearly finished here. When I'm done, I'll go over there and I'll tell her. Okay? All right. then? Yeah. What do you think? Very nice. Yeah, they're not exactly what I wanted, but... Well, uh, on a more practical matter, uh, Sarah, 
Have you any idea how much longer you'll be staying here? Well, like I said, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, I know, but you see, uh, Derek will be back soon and, well, this isn't a very big house. Well, but, um, I, I thought we were beginning to understand each other. Yes, but you see, uh, the point is... Well, the point is you're Sonia's friend, obviously, but it's Martin. He needs a bit of space. You know, he needs a place to himself sometimes so he can be with Sonia. You see, he's a young man, a newly married man. You've got to see it from his point of view. So I think it would be best if you left today. But how could he say that? He loves me. Well, he does. I'm, I'm sorry, Pauline, but um, the man that I've been seeing, well, is Martin.